everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about sub pumps, about backing up your sub pump with a secondary power source, about using a battery with a power inverter so that if power is ever lost during a large storm or a quick defrost, that you won't lose power and then have your basement flooded. First off, let's talk about sub pumps a little bit more in detail, what they do and how they work. Basically, a well is dug within the basement and when water levels raise beneath the foundation to a certain level, the well needs to be drained. So the pump will kick on, it'll drain the water out, send it out to the street or to the sewer, depending on how the piping has been set up. Now, in a large storm, if power is lost and the wells are filling up, and you do not have a secondary power source, then basically the basement will just end up being flooded. So we have a power inverter with built-in battery charger that you connect to the wall with your battery source. And when power is available, the batteries will be fully charged up. And when power is lost, it'll switch over automatically. I'll show you a little demonstration later on. Now, what you can do is you power your, you plug your sub pump directly into the inverter. You leave it on all the time. So this way, if power's ever lost and you're not at the house, it'll switch over without having to worry about power being lost and flooding your basement, causing massive damage. I've set up a little demonstration for you guys. As you can see, the power inverter is connected to a vacuum cleaner. That's going to be basically our AC load. And you'll see with the power inverter connected to the wall, we're going to simulate a blackout. We have the vacuum cleaner connected to the power inverter, and we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to pull the AC charger cord simulating a blackout. And you'll see with just a slight delay, the vacuum cleaner is going to kick back on. Very similar to how the sub pump would kick back on and continue to drain the well. And continue to drain the well on and on until the power is restored. And then it'll switch back to utility power. And this way you won't have to have any concern with losing power and having your well overflow causing damage in the basement. As you can see, the vacuum cleaner switched right back on, very similar to how the sub pump would work. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to contact us at powerinverters.com for more information. Thanks. Have a great day.